recording. Made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your fourth LibGDX tutorial. And in this tutorial we are going to be looking on getting some graphics or sprites, whatever you like to call them, on this screen. Now the LibGDX does it a bit uh, interestingly. Um, they have three different classes which are all used to actually display images on the screen. It just, just depends on how much functionality you need. First is a, just like the default texture class, which is probably the one we're going to be using least. Uh, it's just basically loading the texture and you can um, basically set a position, but there's not much you could do with it. The texture region is mainly if you want to load a texture and just crop out a certain image of the texture. And the sprite has all, the, uh, all that previous functionality plus more. But we're not going to be looking at the sprite until later tutorial, so we're going to check out the texture and the texture region class right now. So we're going to make a texture, and we're going to call it texture. Now before we even do anything, remember that disposing is a very important thing to do, and what we want to do is dispose the texture right away. Now some of you might be asking why we don't dispose the camera. We don't need to dispose the camera. We're not loading anything in. We're not... Um, uh, and the, it doesn't have a dispose method so we don't have to worry about it majority of these classes do have a dispose method to let you know that if you should dispose it or not um, so we didn't dispose it because we don't want any memory leaks and we're just gonna set textures equal to a new texture so what we want to do is we want to load in this libgdx file in the assets folder well what do we do how do we know where to get to the assets folder well, libgdx has a built-in file system, which we will be looking into further. That has, I think, about five different file systems on how to achieve to get certain files. But there's only one type of file system which can apply to every single type of project we can deploy to, and that's the internal file system. And what that does is it directs us to this assets folder, so we can load in things from the assets folder. So what we're going to do is just say gdx files dot internal. And so now it has directed us to the assets folder. Now we're just going to put data slash libgdx dot png. And that is going to load in our texture for us. And so we're just going to go in between sprite batch begin and sprite batch dot end. And we're going to say sprite batch dot draw. Now you can see there's a whole bunch of overloads, so we can we can indeed crop out certain things from the texture and all that, yeah, good stuff. But right now we're just going to uh, use the default uh, the default one. Just draw the texture at coordinate zero zero, and we're gonna run this. And yeah, we got it. But remember, we flipped the way the camera draws stuff, and this is the most stressful part. Well, it doesn't have an extra parameter to flip it, and if we say texture dot flip, there's no flip method in order to flip our texture. So this is when we it, it would be more beneficial to use a texture region. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a texture region, and I'm just call it texture region. And when you're doing a texture region, you can you can either pass in the texture that you've already loaded so you can say texture regions equal to a new texture region and we can pass in the texture or just to make things shorter and all in one line all we have to do is cut this paste this in here and so we can remove that and we can remove this texture variable right there so just saving us a little bit of space and so we're just going to dispose of it and in order to dispose, we have to say dot get texture dot dispose. So we're getting the original texture and we're disposing the original texture. So what, now we're going to take an extra step after we load it in and we're going to say texture region dot flip. So we don't want to flip it on the x axis, so we're going to set that to false, but we do want to flip it on the y axis. And that's going to flip it for us, and we're just going to set this to texture region and we're going to run this program. And voila, we have our image in the same, uh, in the right side up, in the position that we specified it to go. And so you can just modify the X and Y positions and you can crop out certain areas using this texture region. So I'll show you how to do a quick crop. 
or actually now that i think about it it, it would probably be better to show you within the next tutorial the next couple tutorials based on what i'm going to be teaching so uh, i'll leave that out uh for now and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe uh, don't uh, feel free to like my Facebook fan page as well as follow me on Twitter and feel free to add me on BBM and Steam. So bye for now.